Hello everyone, welcome to Digital National Video Teaching Contest 2018. I am Professor S. P. Basha, working at Jamal Mahmud College, Trichy. Today, I am going to teach you a very very important concept in C++ called classes and objects. Here we go. What is a classes? A class is a collection of data items that is nothing but a variables and a member functions that is nothing but a function. Now I'll tell you what is a variable is. A variable has a value and an address. As like we have an address, every variable must have a value as well as the address. The next one is function. The function contains the function consists of a set of instructions to be executed for a specified task. Okay. Now I teach you uh, with a real time example. Uh, with the shawarma, all right. See, this is my class. This is this plate is my class. Here I have uh, the data members. I mean the variables like chili. I have uh, uh, chicken and I have the mianus. So the collection of variables like chicken and the mianus, mianus together forms the class together forms the class that is a plate here i have the member function called member function called shawarma uh, this is a roti i have uh, joined together with the chicken piece and mians all right now i move on to the syntax of a class Look at this one, class and class name. Class is nothing but a keyword and this class name is a, a user-defined name. I can give here as a plate. Okay. Every class must start with the open braces and the closed braces with followed by the semicolon. All right. Open braces and the closed braces followed by the semicolon. Semicolon is mandatory. All right. And access modifiers. Here access modifier stands with the private, public or protected. The default access modifier in C++ is private, but in Java the default access modifier is public. All right, here we have the data members that is nothing but the variables. And here we have the member functions that is nothing but the set of instructions. All right. This is an example of a class. So in my real time example, I would have taken a class called plate, that is, this is a plate, this is a class, and uh, the default, as I told you that the default access modifier is private, but here I have used public, alright, and I have used the two data members that is nothing but the variables called chicken and mianus, that is, a chicken and a mianus. So both these forms, the data members, and I have the member function called shawarma. That is, this is a shawarma. All together forms a shawarma. This member function shawarma and the data members contain within this class called plate. All right. Here I have the variable name called roti. Roti is equal to chicken plus mianus. What is the value of chicken? Chicken is 50 and the value of mianus is 20. So as I told you that the variable has a value 50 and mianus is 20. So join together 50 plus 20 that will form 70 and that will be stored in the variable that is nothing but the data member called roti. Alright now the next very important concept in programming in C++ is object. So an object is a real world entity that is a real world entity. See, this is also an object and I have my uh, remote, this is also an object. Here see, I have an object called spoon, this is my object. So with this object, I can be able to access the data members of the functions which is contained within this class called plate, alright. So with this, with this object that is a spoon, I can able to access this mianus. That is, that is nothing but a 
data member. All right. Here I have some chicken, and I can able to access that. Okay. And the very important concept is we can create any number of objects. We can create any number of objects. See, I can have this as an object. I can have this as an object, or I can have this as an object, or I can have my hand as an object. So with my hand, I can able to access this, and I can eat. All right. So an object is used to access the data items that are set with the variables and the member functions of a class. Now I'll give you the very good example for creating a object. See, int main. So the execution of the C++ program starts from this main function only. So since C++ is a bottom up approach, we have to start the execution from here. All right, the compiler will start the execution from this main function. All right. So the the method to create an object is class name followed by the object name. What is a class name here? I have taken the class name as a plate. I have taken the class name as a plate. So I have to mention here as a plate followed by the object name that is nothing but my spoon. All right. So with this spoon, that is with this object, I can able to access the function called shavarma. All right. So that's all. With this object called spoon, I can able to access the function called shavarma. So the function shavarma will be called here. I have to add this chicken and mianes. That is fifty and twenty will be add together, and this roti. I mean the value will be stored in roti. And here I have used a return statement, and I have given as zero. If I use here int, it is mandatory for me to use the keyword called return. Here the zero represents that the execution of this program has been completed successfully. I hope you would have understand the concepts of classes and objects with a real time example that is shavarma. All right. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you would have understand very well with a real time example. Thank you.